isn't it a nightmare to switch from your PC to your laptop and you don't have any of the Visual Studio extensions, snippets and settings? If you want to know how to sync your Visual Studio across multiple devices, stay tuned as in this video you will find the best way to do that. If you're new to this channel but you want to learn the dark arts of programming, subscribe and click on the bell notification and you won't miss anything. Ok guys, so the best way that I have found to sync your Visual Studio code is this extension here, Settings Sync. I will leave a link in the description of the video below so you can find it easier. So let's click on the install button and install this on Visual Studio Code. Now this extension is using GitHub where it uploads your settings to a GIST and after that you use the GIST to sync your settings to other devices. Now to start uploading our settings just press Shift, Alt and U for upload and Visual Studio should open your GitHub page where you can create the personal access tokens. If you're not logged in, make sure you do that. Uh, so you would want to click on the generate new tokens here on top of it and it should ask you to type your password again. After you are in, you would want to give your access token a description or a name basically. I will give mine the description VS Code Sync Tutorial. And after that, go ahead and scroll down to where the GIST checkbox is and check it. Now let's click on Generate Token. This will generate a token for us that we'll need to use in VS Code. Please save this somewhere as we would need it on the other machines as well. Now open back the Visual Studio Code and it should be asking you now for your GitHub token. Go ahead and paste it there and click enter. Now you can upload your settings by either pressing shift out and new or if you forget the keyboard shortcut for any reason whatsoever you can also trigger the upload by pressing F1 and searching for sync. There you should be able to find the command sync update upload settings. I also want to show you how you can update your token or find it in case you forget it. Search again for Sync and now click on Advanced Settings. On top you will see Edit Extension Waco Settings. Click on that and you will be opening the Sync Waco Settings JSON file and let's first format it so we can read it better by pressing Shift, Alt and F. Now here you can see our GitHub token. You can change it from here or recover it in case you forget it. Now in order to simulate a new system, let's reset the extension settings and delete all of our saved extensions and restart VS Code. Open the Visual Studio Code again and go ahead and install only the settings sync extension. After you install it, let's download our settings by pressing Shift, Alt and D. It will ask us for our GitHub token again that I told you to save somewhere, so paste that there. Now it will also ask us for GIST ID that Sync Settings has created. So in order to find that, go to your GitHub and open your GISTs and find the one that was last created by the setting sync. Now open this and in the browser address after your name and the forward slash, this would be the ID of your GIST. Copy this and paste it in the extensions. Now you can freely sync your settings. One other cool thing that you can do this with this extension is that you can share your settings in a public GIST and everyone will be able to sync with them. For example, if a colleague of yours likes your settings, you can give him the GIST and he'll be able to download it. 
You can also do this if you don't want to use tokens when syncing, but if you do that, remember to share your settings to a public guest by using this option. If you have enjoyed this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss anything. See you next time. <music>